now we can't really talk about anything until and unless we talk about sleep cycle now sleep cycle is basically one cycle of sleep now a body does not sleep for only one cycle throughout the night so one cycle of sleep consists of four different phases and completing this one cycle generally takes a duration of one and a half hours that is 90 minutes so what happens is that you get from phase one to phase two to phase three to phase four in one and a half hour and then you directly get into phase one in phase two phase three phase four then that again is one and a half hour approximately differs from people to person to person and also differs from one day to another day how much tired you are so in the simplest way i can say that in three hours you have completed two sleep cycles and four plus four eight phases so first four and the second four phases are exactly the same so let's talk about this one cycle which is going to be of 90 minutes and the four different phases so we are just going to call it phase one phase two phase three and phase four so phase one plus phase two generally comprise of close to 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and this is a phase where you don't go to the REM sleep and paralysis now what is REM sleep and what is this physical paralysis that we go across I'm going to talk about in the third and the fourth phase but let us talk about what does your brain and your body do in the first two phases in these first two phases so in the first 30 minutes what basically happened the first phase is almost like you won't even know that you're falling asleep you're going to have decent amount of consciousness but in the second phase you are going to start to sip drip in into the sleep mode where you're losing your consciousness the first phase does not really do anything about recovery or your memory but anything but the second phase starts working on your memory you are going to start settling information down into your deep memory and you are going to start to grasp information other than that it is not that deep of a sleep and it happens only for the first one third of the cycle right but this these two phases are important because you can really target power naps in these two phases and that's what i talked about in that video on power nap so if you can just keep yourself away from getting into deep deep sleep of third phase and fourth phase you can wake up and feel fresh but once you get into deep sleep then rapid eye movement that is rem starts to happen and your body starts to get into paralysis because you are really getting into unconscious world and you are going to be doing crazy stuff in your sleep like i don't know what you like to do in your dreams but you don't really want to do it in real life so your body is going to go paralyzed and it's not going to be able to move it is super bad to wake up in those phases in third and fourth phases because your body really wants to just stay asleep at that point so more about that later but if you don't get into third and the fourth phase and you wake up in let us say 20 30 minutes then what you have executed is what we call a power nap so you are going to feel fresh it kind of gave you recovery it did help your memory to settle down and the best part to a lot of you guys would be that i only slept for 30 minutes and that was quick and beyond that the fact that you are very fresh now right so that is where we focus on power naps so if you want to attack on power nap i want to only sleep quickly somewhere in the middle of the day a lot of us feel drowsy it is much better to sleep for just 20 minutes than to sleep for let us say one and a half hours so you can use power naps for that i've talked about that in detail not going to repeat it over here maybe i'm going to make another video because i was horrible in the last one but anyways coming to the third and the fourth phase now third and the fourth phase are the phases in which you start to get into the rapid eye movement rapid eye movement is that creepy eye movement i'm not even going to try to do it right now to the video version people but your eyes move from left to right that that is probably the reason why our eyelids are, are shut during the night otherwise other people who are awake are going to creep out so your eyes are moving at a rapid motion and that is why just lying on bed and closing your eyes is not equal to having a sound sleep that is a sound sleep REM sleep where you are deep into the unconscious world and that's where your body recovers 
your fatigue goes away and that is why people who are not able to sleep or people who don't sleep are tired all the time they don't recover okay so that is the third phase and the fourth phase will be very similar to that only deeper into the REM sleep and also better in when it comes to recovery and worse if you wake up at that point and that is what i want to focus on this close to approximately one and a half hour of cycle you never want to wake up in the third phase or the fourth phase and that is the reason why sometimes you are sleeping and all of a sudden someone blew an alarm or woke you up pushed you or something some bomb blast happened or something like that unfortunately you have to wake up if you wake up at at the third phase or the fourth phase then you feel awful you feel like you can just go back to sleep again and we have all been in those situation where let us say we have slept for six hours and we feel fine and then again we slept for seven hours or nine hours and we still feel sleepy after we wake up and the reason is that improper placement of where you wake up now if you sleep without any alarm all right with no disturbance no one to wake you up then you are obviously going to wake up at the end of the fourth phase of a particular cycle because naturally your body will wake up that is a perfect way to wake up by the way not affordable by a lot of us but that is a good way to wake up but if you wake up somewhere in the middle or you are setting an alarm you should always pay attention to these cycles so let's just look at those 90 minute cycle and multiply it with few numbers so one and a half multiplied by two will be three hours so nobody will be feeling amazing after waking up after three hours of sleep but it is still better than waking up after four hour the golden number thrown on youtube again and again so four hours basically means two full cycles 90 plus 90 minutes and then one hour in the third cycle that means that you are in a third or fourth phase of your deep uh, of your sleep cycle that is you are in your deep REM sleep it's the worst time to wake up i do not know where did they come with that number a four and a half hour would be a better number but it's just like i think that it makes a better clickbait so they are just calling it out so these are the things that you should pay attention that is why six hours is a good number because you have completed four full sleep cycles one and a half one and a half three hours then one and a half four and a half and then one and a half you have done six hours okay and that is why seven and a half hour would be better than seven hours of sleep and seven and a half hours sleep would even be better than eight hours now don't get me wrong these are not fixed like every human being on the face of the planet at every night will be completing every cycle at 90 minutes obviously human beings body does not work like that and there are some tolerance shift these are the thing all the things that happens so that's why snooze button was made <laughs> all right so sometimes you just don't want to wake up exactly at that point and nobody can predict exactly when your cycles will be done or when you are exiting the cycle so you can snooze it out and wake up after let us say five minute 10 minute 15 minute but when you wake up you'll feel much fresh but i think it is kind of obvious that you should time it kind of close to that like kind of close to either four, four and a half in the worst case scenario six hours seven and a half close to that you should schedule it then you will be completing sleep cycles properly and you will not be waking in the middle of a REM sleep so think about it like a rainbow now rainbow does not shift one color to another color in a very discrete fashion it kind of fades away to the next color though. in a similar manner your sleep cycle phases also fades away from first cycle to the second cycle second cycle to the third cycle fourth cycle to the outside of that and there you can wake up if you don't then you are again going to get to the first cycle so these are the things that you should keep in your mind when you are thinking of pulling out a short sleep or you're thinking of having a sound morning the next morning so keep that in your mind now after you have understood what is sleep cycle all about you should also understand this one particular thing and i learned this by listening to huberman huberman lab podcast itself now, what he said is that a lot of people think that our body works